Hi, this is David Farrow with our first video for Music Theory 1. In this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between half and whole steps. We're going to talk about how we use those to build major scales. And we're going to talk about the different names of scale degrees in our major scales. We can start with a simple definition of a scale. A scale is an ordered collection of pitches. It's a bunch of notes that go in a very, very specific organization. There exist a lot of different scales in music, but we're going to be focusing on some of the most common ones, major and minor scales. All the intervals that make up our major and minor scales are stepwise intervals. That means that the notes are very close together. C to D is a stepwise interval, just like E to F or B to C or A to B. All of these notes are just one step apart. But to make these scales, we have to make a difference between what we're going to be calling whole steps and half steps. The easiest way to understand the difference between a whole step and a half step is to look at the keys on a keyboard. And you can see there's a graphic of one on the screen right now. A half step is the interval between any two notes that are right next to each other on the piano. If we look at the first interval here, C to D flat, this interval is a half step because the notes are right next to each other. There's nothing in between them on the piano. There's a half step between E and F because there's no notes between them. There's a half step between A and B flat, and then another half step between B flat and B natural, because again, all of these pitches are right next to each other on the keyboard. A whole step is bigger than a half step. A whole step has two half steps inside it. And so when we look at the interval between C to D, the next interval we've got notated here, we can see that C to D is going to be a whole step. It has two half steps inside it, the half step from C to C sharp, and another half step from C sharp to D. If we look at our next interval from E to F sharp, we can figure out whether or not this is going to be a half step or a whole step. E to F natural is going to be a half step. There are no keys in between it. And F to F sharp is going to be another half step. That means E to F sharp is going to be a whole step because there are two half steps inside it. What about B flat to C natural? Is this going to be a half step or a whole step? It's going to be a whole step because there are two half steps inside it. The half step from B flat to B natural and the half step from B natural to C. Now that we have a basic understanding of whole and half steps, we can start using them to construct some of these very common scales that we find in Western music. We'll start by building a major scale, and I picked D to start. We're going to build a D major scale. The first step I take in building a major scale is to draw that starting note on my staff paper. I drew that D, and then I filled out a note on every line and space up the scale back to D. So I drew one D, one E, one F, one G, one A, one B, one C, and another D at the top. Every major scale is going to have one of each letter note name in it, and so this is always a good place to start. Our next step is going to be to write out the interval pattern for the major scale. Every scale has its own unique interval pattern that makes it what it is. The major scale's interval pattern, which I've written here between the notes of my scale, is whole, whole, half, whole, 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 half. This pattern defines what a major scale is, and so I'm going to need to add accidentals to my scale to make sure that all the intervals are whole steps and half steps in the right places. I want to have a whole step between D and E, and so I look on the piano and see that between D and E there are two half steps, D to D sharp and D sharp to E. This is good. I want to have 
a whole step between E and F. But when I look at the piano, I see that E to F is only a half step. I'm going to need to change that note and make it F sharp so that it is the right interval. E to F is one half step, F to F sharp is two half steps, and so E to F sharp is the whole step we're looking for. We next need a half step between F sharp and G. Looking at my keyboard, I can see there are no notes in between F sharp and G, so this is the half step I want. I want there to be a whole step between G and A. Looking at my keyboard, I see G to G sharp is a half step, and G sharp to A is a half step. That makes a whole step. That's what we want. I want there to be a whole step between A and B. Looking at my keyboard, I see a half step between A and A sharp, and another half step between A sharp and B. These two half steps make a whole step, and so again I'm happy. The next interval I want is another whole step from B to C, but looking at the keyboard, there are no notes in between B and C. It's a half step right now. To make it bigger into a whole step, I need to change my C to a C sharp. Now there are two half steps, B to C and C to C sharp, and that makes the whole step I'm looking for. I need to finish with a half step between C sharp and D, and looking at the keyboard, I can see there are no notes between C sharp and D. This makes it the half step I'm looking for. If this wasn't a half step, that might have meant that I made a mistake somewhere earlier in the scale, and I would go back and check my work. Because the interval pattern we created with these notes is whole whole half, whole 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 half, we've created a D major scale. This is what a D major scale sounds like. Let's try practicing one on our own. I've started writing out an E major scale for you. I've filled out all the notes from E to E, and I've filled out the interval pattern of whole whole half, whole 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 half. Can you check to see what accidentals we need to apply to these notes to make them match the whole steps and half steps we're looking for? Go ahead and pause the video and take a moment to practice. When you're done, we'll come back and see how we did. Okay, we're back. We needed to make our first step a whole step. E to F natural has no notes in between it in the piano. It was a half step. We needed to change it to a whole step, and so I changed it to F sharp, which is a whole step above E. It has two half steps in it, E to F and F to F sharp. Above F sharp, we wanted another whole step, and so I went up the half step to G and the second half step to G sharp to make it a whole step. From there we wanted a half step, and so I just went up one key from G sharp to A. Above A we wanted another whole step, and so I went up two half steps, one to A sharp and one to B natural. Above B natural we wanted another whole step, and so I went two half steps, one half step to C and the second half step to C sharp. I wanted another whole step above C sharp, and so I went up two half steps, one to D and one to D sharp. And finally, I wanted to finish with a half step, and so I went up just one key on the keyboard from D sharp to E. I ended on E natural, which is the same place I started, which means that I did this correctly. This is the E major scale. The next thing we want to talk about relating to scales is scale degrees. A scale degree is the term that we use to describe the order in which notes appear in the scale. The first note of a scale is going to be called scale degree 1, the second note is scale degree 2, the third note is scale degree 3, and so on. In major and minor scales, each of these notes has a special name. We're going to want to learn these names because we're going to be using them a lot when we're talking about music. Scale degree 1 is the first note in our scale, and even when it reappears at the top of the scale, we still call it scale degree 1. The name of scale degree 1 is tonic. Tonic is from the same word that we have tone. It's the most important scale degree, and it's one that we're going to be talking about all the time. Scale degree 1 is the tonic. If we count up five notes from D, D 
E, F sharp, G, A, we end up on scale degree 5, which is called the dominant. The dominant is our next most important and most talked about scale degree, and so it's one with which we'll want to be very familiar. If we go down five notes from our high tonic, if we go down from D, C sharp, B, A, to G, we get to what we call the subdominant, scale degree four. Up five notes from the tonic is scale degree five, the dominant, and down five, scale degree four, is the subdominant. Halfway between one and five is scale degree three. We call this the mediant. It's in the middle between one and five. Counting up from the tonic, D, E, F sharp, that's scale degree three, the mediant. And likewise, halfway between the tonic and the subdominant, going down from one to six, is scale degree six, the submediant. Scale degree three is the mediant, and scale degree six is the submediant. Scale degree two is right above the tonic. Its name is the supertonic. It's right above the tonic, and so that name makes some sense. Scale degree seven is called the leading tone. Scale degree seven has a very important job in music, and its job is to often take us back to the tonic. It leads us back, and so its name is the leading tone. Here you have all seven of the scale degrees for our major scale. The tonic, the supertonic, the mediant, the subdominant, the dominant, the submediant, and the leading tone. That's the end of our first video. In this video, we talked about the difference between half and whole steps. We talked about how to use those to build a major scale, and we talked about the names of the different scale degrees in that major scale. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.